So judge shuts down plea hearing after January 6th defendant claims he's innocent. It is uh, a man who, I've, uh, who has been an acquaintance of mine, Baked Alaska. Uh, Gione, Tim Gione, right-wing internet personality who goes by the pseudonym Baked Alaska. So it's an interesting move that he did. Uh, he, he indicated that he wanted to plead guilty, but in his guilty plea, he said something that, of course, the judge cannot let pass. He said, I'm innocent, but I plead guilty. I'm innocent, but the reason I plead guilty is that the prosecutors are threatening me with uh, higher level uh, prosecution of other charges. And so I'm pleading guilty because I feel threatened and I feel like they could attempt to uh, to get me in jail forever with these other charges, which I've never committed. And even the one thing I'm pleading guilty for, I've not committed. So <laughs> you, cannot, uh, you cannot be serious and go into a court and say everything in its contrary. Uh, you have to choose a side. Either you plead guilty and you shut up, or you plead not guilty and you shut up. But you can't say, I plead non guilty, but. <laughs> Nor can't you say, I plead guilty, but. Uh, because, uh, of course, it forces the judge to consider, okay, here, he, he, he just used the word threat, so he feels under extortion. So I, I cannot take a guilty plea under a claim of extortion like this. So the judge said, all right, well, uh, you're, you're going to get a fair trial here with me if you want to choose to get the trial. Uh, but I'm not going to take your guilty plea n since that you're basically telling me that you're doing it under extortion. So he's giving him 60 days to rethink about it. And he said, if you do choose to plead not guilty, you will get a fair trial here. Of course, we're, we're in a very interesting case in the end. I, I didn't suspect this, but as I read the details, it's going to be interesting to determine if the trial does happen, uh, whether Baked Alaska can succeed at being found not guilty. He has a lot of things going for him. He also has some things going against him. Some of the things that are going well for him. Well, his claim is basically, okay, I was in the office uh, on January 6th. You know, he was part of the crowd that went into the Capitol and he live streamed the whole thing. Uh, so he says, I was there, but I was there as a journalist. That's a very good defense. The problem being... Apparently, uh, they have they have the stream of him, and he was not acting in a way that he was not having behaviors that are exclusive to journalists. He was having behaviors that tend to be in protesters, and in this case, what they claim in insurrection insurrectionist. So. He was, for example, inciting people, what well, they claim, at least they claim that he was inciting people to stay inside the capital instead of leaving. Uh, so, I mean, if you have the whole understanding of the context that the crowd was there to stop a vote from happening, then by yelling to people, stay here, stay here, he could have committed an act that was aiming at interfering with the legal process, with a political process, which was the counting of the vote. Could be, could be, and there's a big question about how a jury would interpret all of the details, and it will be, uh, if he does get to a trial, it will all be about whether, whether the jury gets convinced that he was there for art or journalism, and that or that he was there for blocking the political process itself. Now, when you've yelled at the crowd, let's stay, let's stay, you're part of the, pro the, the protest, but I think perhaps there could be a good defense for him if he doesn't argue that he was a journalist, but he argues that he was an artist. Perhaps, I mean, 
think about it. What if you're an artist who does special kinds of art, living art, art that happens in, within the important events of humanity? <laughs> in a way, that's what he was doing. He was streaming and he was monetizing his streaming. So all of this was his way of living as an artist. Uh, if you were to make the case that everything that he did in this uh, protest was part of a performance art attempt at impersonating a protester, I don't know. It, maybe it's too meta. I don't know if you can get a jury to accept this, but perhaps that would be his chance. Now, given that he has been seen yelling, it's very likely that Beck Alaska will understand that he doesn't have much chance for a trial. Uh, he may not have the, me the, the means to defend himself. He may not have the means to hire a very good liar. It depends. You know, streamers can be rich, but they can also be extremely wasteful. And who knows whether Beg Talaska has any fund. I mean, this guy, this guy has been all over the place since the beginning of his career from uh, doing satirical hip-hop performance to yang gang crap to alt-right crap to just draining from any movement he could on the internet down to being sit being seated on i don't know was it nancy pelosi's office and, and talking with her phone <laughs> <laughs> this guy is unbelievable. He is definitely a a modern mimeticist, a, a modern wizard of mimetics. So I personally don't think he should be punished. I think it's the whole January 6th interpretation of insurrection could work if you have specific evidence that some people were planning truly to do the blockade. But I think that most people who entered the capital that day didn't have this intent in mind they they were just protesting and they didn't know that it would be framed by the leftist media as an insurrection think about it like do you think that the people who were crossing the door that day really thought of themselves as insurrectionists because that's the test of mens rea uh, when, when you commit a murder you would have to Think of yourself as a murderer. See yourself as, okay, right now I'm committing a murder and here I'm going to do it that way and have a plan about the murder. I don't think that the people we've seen enter the Capitol that day, that they were actively planning an insurrection. At best, some of them might have been extremists and then it's a matter of finding the individual evidence. A uh, guy from V says, memes, Rhea. <laughs> that, that would be an interesting concept to extend the concept of mens rea to memes rea. Uh, I don't know what, for, what, what that would mean, though. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Dolphin. Remember to like and subscribe.